What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon BDSP VGC Showdown Live. Today, I have a team that I just made conceptually, like, I made it a couple of days ago, and it seems to be performing pretty well. The I, it was, the EVs are all very basic, like, it's all just 252, 252, but I wanted to try out the concept of Mamoswine on Rain. So if you guys enjoyed this standpoint point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I try to bring you daily VGC content. I say try this time because I have finals around the corner, so I might go a day or two without uploading. Might be every other day, might be every two days, uh, but I'm going to do my best. I have higher priorities than playing Pokemon on the internet. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoy. Answer the comment question of the day, which is what do you think is the best Intimidate immune Pokemon in the format? And let's go ahead and get into this. So the team that I'm running today is going to be Kingdra Rain. We've got Swift Swim, Jericho Meteor, Muddy Water, Protect, Ice Beam. I would say that... Um, Ludicolo is probably better in the format, however, I didn't want to double down on grass types, uh, so I just ended up going Kingdra. Uh, we have a Physically Defensive, Politoed, Parish Slump, Protect, Ice Beam, uh, and Scald. I really wish this thing still got Helping Hand, it would help out so much, but it's whatever. Uh, we have a Leftovers, Physically Defensive, Parasect, Spore, Protect, X Scissor, and Substitute. I don't really see the point in Rage Powder um, for this Pokemon, at least not on this team. Uh, what I find much more enjoyable, like I, I'm literally choosing Substitute over Rage Powder right now, and you could say that that's like a bad choice, but it's been working out pretty well. It's just a fun little thing to do where under Trick Room, they want to stall out your turns. So on the turn that they decide to go for a Protect, expecting a Spore, you can actually get a Substitute off, and with a Leftovers plus uh, Dry Skin in the rain, you actually get like all of that health back immediately, um, and it just makes it very annoying for the opponent. We have a Specially Defensive Bronzong, just Berry Levitate, Gyro Ball, Trick Room, Rain Dance, and Hypnosis. Rain Dance is just extra fun for <laughs> messing with people um, because obviously, like, Politoed is my main rain setter with Drizzle, but if they get rid of the Politoed, they might be thinking, okay, yeah, I can just beat them since their weather's gone, and then, oh no, here it is again. Uh, we have a Modest, uh, Max Speed, Zap Plate, Zapdos, Thunder, Volt Switch, Protect, Discharge, and next to that, we have a Choice Band Mamoswine with Earthquake, Ice Shard, Ice Crash, and Rock Slide. These two are very fun next to each other. Discquake is obviously something that we've seen in previous formats, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see how this team works out. Okay. Oh, something I do want to note before I get into this battle, we are trying to establish a community code for getting teams or for getting um, VGC battles on cartridge. If you want to find battles on cartridge, me, Joe UX9, and a whole bunch of other content creators are trying to get the code 2021-2022 to be the uh, code that we use for VGC battles. So go ahead and try it out. Um, I don't know how long it'll take for people to start using it, but go ahead and try it out once in a while. You'll probably end up finding some games. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we see a pretty standard Hariyama, Cresselia, Good Stuffs team. Uh, they definitely don't like Rain, but I also don't like... I don't like Fake Out, so... Hmm. I wish Mamoswine got Inner Focus instead of Oblivious. I'm thinking here they're probably just going to lead off with Hariyama plus Trick Room, uh, if not Hariyama plus, like, literally anything else. All I know is there's a Hariyama on lead. Uh, I can go ahead and lead off with... Um, how bad do I want to lead off Mamoswine Zapdos? I think Mamoswine Zapdos is fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll bring my Parasect in the back. And I actually think instead of Bronzong, I'm going to go Politoed. Uh, just because Politoed with Parish Song could be a really nice endgame strat. As they go with Zapdos Gyarados, this is actually a phenomenal lead for me. Um, since Zapdos actually doesn't touch anything on my side of the field. And I can just freely click Discharge plus... Do I want to click Ice Shard? I think Ice Shard's fine. Uh, I could lock myself into Crash and guarantee a one-shot, um, but it is kind of iffy. Uh, I think I'm better off going for Crash. Yeah, I should be able to one-shot this Gyarados, unless they're running the uh, Berry, but Electro-types aren't too common in the format, so they're more more than likely they're running uh, Lum instead of that one Berry, Wakan, I believe it is. All right, let's see. Decent amount of damage, Ice Core Crash, and they just give it to me. Nice. As they go for their Hariyama, uh, obviously in this situation, they would want to go ahead and go for the um, Fake Out into my Zapdos. I can go ahead and Protect here. Uh, if they want to go for this Waterfall, uh, they're going to have to earn it. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Parasect here. I'm going to take like no damage. They definitely Waterfall me. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Anyways, um, in this situation, I don't mind... 
Um, I think I actually just go ahead and... Do I Volt Switch? Because I want to expect them to protect the Gyarados this turn. I can try to Spore it, right? I think what I'm going to do here is Volt Switch on the Hariyama and go for a Spore on their Gyarados. Yeah, as they do go into Cresselia. Um, and here they're probably going to go for like a knockoff into me. I can go into my Politoed. And this Crest should be going to sleep as they end up going for a Facade. Close Combat would have done more, bud, but whatever. <laughs> Close Combat definitely would have done more. I can go for the Scald on this Hariyama and they just forfeit. Yeah, nice. So we actually got to see the Parasite do some work there. It's like the hit like a champ. Would Close Combat have done more? I'm pretty sure it does because it's 70 without... Uh, it's, it's 140 where... Yeah, no, stab boosted close combat does so much more because it's 180. Yeah. So that, that's, I don't know. They could have CC'd me, but they did not. As we see another pretty good team here. Um, they definitely have answers for rain. Obviously, they have a sand setter. They have uh, their own little gastrod on there. But I don't know how well they do versus TR if they let me get it off. I also think they really hate Mamoswine Zapdos again. Mamoswine Zapdos kind of goes in here. I have to be very careful with the Scizor, but um, I do have answers for that. Uh, I think in the back, I will end up bringing Politoed again. Politoed does phenomenally against the rest of the team. And my last Pokemon, do I want to bring Parasect or Bronzong or Kingdra? Um, Parasect arguably does really good here. Uh, it doesn't like taking an X Scissor, but <sighs> let me think. If I go Parasect, I can put a lot of these things to sleep. And be really annoying. If I go Bronzong, um, I just kind of wall things out. I'm gonna go Parasite again. Why not? Let's let's just do it. It's it's it's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Even if I don't win, it's gonna be fun. We're we're showcasing Parasite today. Well, I lied. We're actually showcasing Mamoswine, but it's whatever. You know, it's whatever. Uh, more than likely here, they're probably just gonna want to go for like a Draco. I'm gonna say into Mamo. Um, I could Ice Shard and get a lot of damage off here. I think Ice Shard Volt Switch isn't a bad play, and then I get in, like, my Politoed. The only thing is I really don't want to lose Mambo this early, and Ice Shard probably wouldn't KO. Hmm. I can try to get the Paralysis with the Discharge. Nah, I'm probably just better off going for the Volt Switch play, switching right into... I'm gonna go Para. Steal for a Surf, okay. Interesting strat there. I didn't expect that. And now I'm kind of concerned. I don't want to go into Mambo because I might straight up lose it. They're probably in Ice Shard range now, but it's such a risky play to go into Mambo here. Um, I, I think they're going to go for Parasect. Yeah, there's the Earth Power. Um, I should be able to go for like a sport play here and try to ice shard this Latios. Or I can make the absolute god play and go for this choice banded ice go crash into the Gastrodon. Or I can play it even safer and go into Politoed and spore the Gastro. Because I want to say they're like Spec Surf. Yeah. I'm willing to bet they're Spec Surf. As they end up Ice Beam in my Parasect, I find that to be a very greedy play. I think that was extremely greedy. Okay, uh, things aren't looking too great. Things are not looking too great. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely like over predicting a little bit too much in this match. I probably just lose now because I set up the rain for them. Yeah, I mean like I die to a, I die to a Spec Surf. Uh, let me go ahead and, I suppose, Ice Beam and hope for a freeze, and that's like my best bet. Yeah, if I can get an Ice Beam freeze, that's like it. That's like the only way I win this. Alright. There's the Earth Power. Interesting they didn't go for... The alternate move. Um, I probably just lose. Is there any way I win this? Uh, if they decide for some reason not to double down my Zapdos, this is a possibility. Yeah, no, I lose. All right, GG. That was unfortunate. 
That was pretty unfortunate. We're still low ladder. I'm like literally, I don't know, man. I, I, I could say I'm low ladder because I'm testing so many teams, but honestly, I'm low ladder because I don't play that much. I don't play enough, right? I don't play enough to ladder. Um, I prefer, I much more prefer just doing the best of threes in this format, but the ladder is very fun. I will say that. As we're facing an opposing rain team, uh, they have quite a few answers for Parasect. Uh, they do have an, probably an Ice Beam on Ludicolo, Hurricane here, Flare Blitz, X Scissor. A lot of stuff I don't like to deal with. However, however, never mind. I just wish I still had Hurricane on Kingdra. Kingdra losing Hurricane is such a... Uh, it's so annoying. Uh, what I can do here is... I should really run some bulk on the Zap. I'm going to go Zap Mamo. Uh, Parasite's in the back. And I think this time uh, I'm better off going with... Dang, once again, it's Politoed. I was going to say Bronzong here, but I think Politoed is just better. Okay. So, likelihood we get faked out is like 100% here. Like 100%. Probably into Zapdos as well. Uh, what I can do, though, is... Do I take full advantage of the fake out turn and try to go for like Icicle Crash or do I go for Ice Shard? Because they have to fake out something. I surely just discharge, all things considered. I'll try it. Let's go for Pachirisu. Alright. Go for the energy ball. If I get this para on the Ludicolo, that'd be great. Decent amount of damage, no para. Uh, I can go into Parasect here. They don't have much for me. Um, obviously, they could go for the follow me. So, in this situation, I'm just going to go ahead and spore the Pachi. Like, would I like to X Scissor? Yes, but uh, the follow me is kind of clear. Also, we didn't see a life orb. Yeah, there's the ice beam. Let's go for the super fang. Uh, wrong order, bud. Anyways, that's asleep. Uh, it's within Excisor range. I can now go into my Politoed here and go for the Excisor on Ludicolo. And honestly, once Ludicolo is gone, this becomes a lot easier for me. The Hydro Pump, nice. This should KO, I think. Ludicolo's defense isn't that great, and this is Stab. Yeah, nice. And there's the Pelipper. Uh, you know... As we all know, Pelipper does have the potential to one-shot us uh, with a Hurricane. So I think what I'm going to do is go for Ice Beam Chip. Or actually, Skull Chip's fine, because I'm just going to go ahead and discharge this next turn anyways. And I'm going to go into my Zapdos. And the reason I'm Scalding is in case it wakes up and gets the Follow Me off. Uh, that's the best outcome for me. So I'm probably just going to Hurricane here. Yep, no confusion, please. Nice. All right. And now I Protect and go for the Discharge, because if they try to wake up Follow Me, uh, I'm in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I'm healing the Pachi, but if I can get a... Yeah, nice, GG. I was going to say, if I can get a um, a Parish Song off, I win regardless. And that's honestly why Politoed's like so valuable in this format. You could go with Pelipper, right? But in, in like a bulky team like the one I'm running, uh, I end up much rather going with Politoed just because I can Parish Song a lot. So it's just, it's just nice, you know? As I see that my real estate agency that has sold me or rented me out this apartment just decided, hey, we're going to stop by in like 10 minutes and do a tour. So if I end up pausing the recording, it's because um, they decided not to give me a day's warning or even a couple of hours. They gave me a five minute warning. So that's fun. That is fun. Okay. So here, I mean, we got PZ. PZ is a little bit annoying. Uh, it is slower than my Zapdos though. Actually, is it? Depends if it's modest or timid. Um, I think regardless, I lead off Zapdos Mamo. Wait, I'm facing Moxie. Bro! Bro! <laughs> Alright, uh, let me see. Honestly, Rain looks so good here. And this is going to be one of the few games where Rain just goes crazy. Um, I'm not going to lead off with it though. I think Zapdos Mamo is fine. I'm going to go Parasite Poly. All right. I'm also just now noticing that my OBS was yelling at me something about an encoder overload. Hopefully the video didn't just start chunking up and freezing, you know? Hopefully it's fine. All 
I think in like my next couple of videos, I'm just gonna say 2021, 2022, use that code. Just like gonna straight up put it at the beginning of everything. All right, Garrett, okay, yeah, no, this is the lead. This is the lead. Uh, I can just click Earthquake Discharge. Let's get it. Don't be Sash or Wakan. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh, I'm fine, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be like, oh no, not like this, not like this. Um, I mean, I'm locked into Earthquake, but it legitimately doesn't matter. Even if they go into Garchomp, they're not gonna like the damage. Alright. Yeah, I mean, like they don't have much of a defensive play. They can go into Crest here, but they end up losing something. And I haven't revealed Banded yet, so they might be scared regardless. Discharge will also break Sturdy, so... There's a Chomp. Yeah, he's not gonna like this. And Mag goes down, unless they're Shooka, but I think even with that, they're not in a good spot. Yeah, nice. There's the PZ. Time to get scared. Um, I can go Toad here. Toad actually is gonna be a game changer, and I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch on the PZ and go into my Toad. There's a Dragon Claw, Physically Defensive Toad, it simply does not care. And I actually eat that up. Nice, gonna Volt Switch out of here, and it's time to start clicking the best move in the game. 85% accuracy, baby, let's get it. Muddy Water, and I'm ready to miss. And I'm also gonna Scald, because if, yeah, no, I get the double KO. Nice. Nice. GG's. GG's. Good game, well played. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Choice Band, there are no switch-ins for Choice Band Mamoswine. There are no switch-ins. You can, like, convince yourself that there are switch-ins, but that's just a cope. If if you ever play against Choice Band Mamoswine, you go, oh, something, this can switch into it. Unless it's, like, levitating, it's a cope. Okay, didn't we just face this guy? Or am I wrong? I mean, we already know what the, you know, if they lead off with this. I, I forgot if this is the same person I faced, but we're pretty sure. It's the same person. Uh, I'm gonna go Parasect Mamo. Because I can put that thing to sleep immediately. Uh, Parasect Mamo. Rain in the back is phenomenal if I can get rid of that thing. And I think my last Pokemon... Um, I'm gonna go Poly. Yeah. Yeah, I like that lead quite a bit. Um, there's Gengar, Arcanine... Yeah, okay, check this out. I legitimately do not care if I'm going to Earthquake my own Politoed. This is well worth it. If I can get this off, this is well worth it. There's the Taunt. Okay, that's fine. There's the Flare Blitz. We tank that. All right, you ready for this? You ready for this? Choice Band Earthquake. There's the Sash, but I don't care. I got rid of that. And there's the Scizor. Um, that's just kind of like a free Scald turn, in my opinion. I, I haven't gotten down to Barry, but if I can get the Scald off, that'd be great. Uh, and Ice Shard's gonna be huge for the end game. I'm gonna go ahead and go right into Kingdra because of this. They go into their Gastrodon. That's not the end of the world. Um. How good's a Draco here? Go to my Parasect. They haven't SD'd yet. Um, Polito takes the hit pretty well, too. I'm gonna go ahead and Draco. It's a Life Orb Draco, hopefully it does a decent amount. Enough where like Ice Beam will do it. Okay, it's gonna be close. Oh, it's 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 gonna be not close. They SD on me. Oh no. Oh my god, no. Actually I'm faster than this thing with my with my Mambo Choice Band. Uh Ice Shard might do it. So I protect here. Uh hopefully they don't bullet punch me. Actually, do I care if they bullet punch me? Do I need this thing to win? Mm, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I'm gonna try it. They're probably Lumberry. They're probably Lumberry. But I gotta do it anyways, just in case they end up bullet punching the Kingdra. They don't, okay. There's the X Scissor, that's fine. Oh, they recover. Oh no. Oh my god, no, we lost this again. GG. Gastrodon is just a thorn in my side today. If that was the same person, you just best of three'd me and destroyed me with a gastro. I suppose 
maybe Ludicolo would be better for this team then. Maybe I can like deal with the fact that I got two grass types, but I don't know. It probably would be better. I might switch that out in the final version of the team once I like do all the EVs and stuff. But for now, this seems to be working out just fine. Uh, here we see literally no reason not to do this again. Like, I don't care about this thing. I'm going to bring my Politoed. Uh, and I think I bring Rain. Yeah, just Rain in the back. Nice. So they go with the Zong Roserade lead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Ice Shard. I think they're probably going to expect to be faster than me. Yeah, I think I shared Volt Switch is fine. If they protect, it's whatever, I suppose. <laughs> Got 300 attack. That's just nasty. It's probably Sash. Like, looking at the team, this thing's probably Sash. I don't know what Bronzong does for this team. Nothing on this team really wants Trick Room. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if this is like heat proof Bronzong and I've been able to Earthquake this whole time? Ah, they do protect. Okay. Yeah, if they TR, uh, I suppose it's whatever. They did TR. And it is indeed whatever. Because... Yeah, that, that really is whatever, isn't it? Because I still get my Ashar damage. Um, but I suppose I should play it safe. I suppose I should play it safe. Let's go ahead and go for the Volt Switch, and I'm going to get my Politoed here. Ah, that's fine. Okay. They miss a Hypnosis. Let me think. Uh, they definitely don't like a Scald, but I also can't really attack here. I'm going to go ahead and just Scald the Pachi. In the rain, too, might do it. Uh, not quite. Actually, with that, it might do it. There's a Super Fang. Hmm. Do you think they have... Gy they gotta have Gyro Ball, right? How much do I need this Mammo to win? I can go to my Kingdra this turn and protect. Uh, I'm gonna Scald here. Nice, they keep missing. Let's see if they Nuzzle. Nice, I just protect here, and I pretty much get a KO on this Pachi regardless, don't I? Um, but because it's like a KO regardless, I should really just call the Bronze on the next turn. Yeah, no, you're not landing this. No blind hypnosis is for you, sir. None of that. Right, let me go for the Muddy Water and another Scald in this Bronze on. So they go for the Protect, I should be able to KO the Bronze on now. Yeah, this combo should do it. Oh, maybe not. A lot of berries today. So they finally get that off. A little bit annoying, a little bit annoying. Uh, however, I can just spam Muddy Water. They're probably just going to go ahead and go for a Nuzzle into me. I'm going to switch into my Mamo. I'm going to try to get my rain back up. So they go for the Nuzzle. Nice. Um, yeah, I should be able to Muddy Water here. And by Muddy Watering... Uh, just give me a second. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I had to get up and do something. Uh, so that muddy water... I have to be really careful here. Um, I can go back into poly, I suppose. Just hope I wake up. 146, 132. I'm probably slower. That's the issue. I'm probably slower, and they definitely have follow me. Um, I'll just ice shard this Pachirusi regardless. All right. Let's see. Okay, I do wake up. That's amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that off. And that's going to lower their... Ah, dang it, okay. How much do I care? I mean, if I muddy water here and go to my Politoed, this thing will end up in range of Ice Shard regardless, so I'm just going to do that. As they do go for the follow me, that's great. I get it. Ah, you're kidding me, right? You got to be kidding me. All right, I do get an accuracy drop, so that might save me. They go for the waterfall and miss. Amazing. I'll take it. Whatever. And I might be able to get this win with Parish Song. But there might not even be a point in doing that. 
Let's do that. Like, regardless, like, Pachirus is going to get Muddy Watered here. Or not. They're just not going to get Muddy Watered. Accuracy drop again. Okay. There's the Ice Fang. They're not going to get the KO. I do get Frozen. <laughs> this is such a mess of a game. This is actually a mess of a game. Uh, they're going to end up with an Ice Shard range regardless. And I think I end up beating the Roserade in the 1v1. So I'm going to try to Muddy Water and protect here. There's the Ice Fang. This is so annoying. Okay. My play is very awkward. Because they could... If, they're probably Sash, right? They're probably Sash. I'm going to Parish Song here. And there's a reason I'm Parish Songing. Because if I, if I just, you know... If they miss like a Sleep Powder and whatever, I just end up in a position where I can protect a win. <laughs> They're just considering it. They're like, do I protect her? Do I protect her? What happens if I do? I think I think that's actually a really nice play, now that I think about it. Because if they do protect, and they go for like a sleep powder or something like that, then I end up in a situation where I can like win by like accuracy cheese. No, all right, I just end up winning regardless. Yeah, Ice Shard, Scald. They stopped my Parasong, so it doesn't matter. There we go, GG's. Yeah, they missed. Nice. They relied a lot on <laughs> just landing blind sleep in this game, and that was kind of funny. But yeah, uh, let's do one more. Let's try to get above the 30-minute mark. Let's do one more. Ooh, a Haunch Crow. Okay. Um, another opposing rain team. I definitely... Oh, they have so many answers for Parasect, too. It's hard for something not to answer Parasect, honestly. Um, but once it is under Trick Room, it's really fun. It is a very fun Pokemon under Trick Room. What are the odds I can get under Trick Room here? Um, I'm gonna go Mammo Zap again. I'm gonna bring Bronzong in the back. And screw it. Like, I don't even care if I, like, win this game. I just want to use the Parasect. <laughs> okay. Uh, going, I'm gonna go into the Parasect here. Actually, no. Like I said, they're just gonna fake out the, the Zapdos, right? They're 100% just gonna fake out the Zapdos. So I could try to get a cheeky KO on the Ludicolo. I could. I'm going to discharge and I'm going to go for the cheeky KO. Yeah, they're going to lose this Ludi, which is huge for me. Nice. I don't care if I lose Mammo. Um, it was... Yeah, no, that's huge. <laughs> that's absolutely huge. There's the Scizor. They got nothing for Zapdos, really. Like, I can stall out Rain. Uh, they're going to go ahead and just bullet punch me. I'm going to go for the Protect, go into my Bronzong. They go for the bullet punch. Nice. They go for the hydro pump. Ooh, they definitely have something. They definitely have something. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trick room now. That could be kind of nasty if I trick room on them. They, they're choice banded. They're 100% choice banded. There's no chance. No chance they're not choice banded. Uh, which means I should be able to spore them pretty handily. <laughs> and... Yeah, that is the most choice banded scissor in the history of choice banded scissors. And I'm full fizz def, so I take that. I can try to go for this, but. This scissor is going to sleep. Yeah, nice. Uh, let me go ahead and sub on their. Um, actually, do I? No, I just always go for this, don't I? I just always go for the spore. There's, no, there's literally no reason. I was going to say, they can't protect. They can't switch into anything unless they're like Insomnia Honchcrow. Now, I click Protect, and they were Damp Rock. That's crazy. Like, they weren't even Sash. I could have... Yeah, okay, Discharge. Don't wake up, please. Oh, they woke up. Okay, cool, we're fine. I was going to say, like, that, that could have been really bad. All right, uh, most likely Moxie Honchkrow. If they're Insomnia, I'm going to lose my mind. And they're probably going to Sucker Punch as well. I think my play here is Spore You. Bullet Punch has so much PP, dude. It's got so much PP. Spore You, Protect. Trick Room ends this turn. Yep. Yeah, they're not Insomnia. Uh, now I go for another Spore. 
I can sack the Bronzong. Not quite. Close enough. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this might end this might not end well. Are they they're super luck. The hell? Okay. Uh I can knock out the Honchkar 100 percent but this is gonna be a very, very annoying endgame if I don't land this hypnosis. My entire endgame relies on me landing this hypnosis. This has not gone well. <laughs> Cause Ice Shard's gonna go first. Um Yeah, and I have to land hypnosis to win. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I shared the Honch Crow. Protect. Actually, mm, maybe my play's Raw Thunder. They know I'm gonna protect and they should always target the, the Mammoth Swine. This is such an awkward endgame. I hate this. Uh, okay. So they know that Bullet Punch one shots Zapdos, but they also know that I have to protect here and KO the Honch Crow. If I were to protect my Zapdos here and lose my Mammoth Swine, I always lose to Bullet Punch next turn. But if I thunder here and land it, I win. And if they have to bullet punch Mammo, 100%. And Mammo should be faster than both of these, so I go before Sucker Punch. Come on. Come on, baby, come on. I missed my thunder. No! <laughs> I missed my... I played it perfectly and I missed my thunder. I hate this game. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. It was, it was a fine it was a fine game regardless. GG's. GG. Oh, all I had to do was land the thunder. That's fine. It's whatever. I'm only a little salty, but yeah. Uh overall it's a fun team. It's it's a fun team. Like I said, like it's it's still a work in progress. I can obviously like not go 252 to 52. I can optimize things like uh HP, uh just make sure I live particular hits. I'm pretty sure Mammo. It's got 110 HP and 80 defense. I can make it live a Technician Bullet Punch from like Adamant Scissor. Probably not Choice Banded, but I can definitely make it take a hit, you know? I can lower the attack. I'm already Choice Banded. I can't be intimidated. So that's an optimization I can make. Obviously, Zapdos can get a little bit more bulk on it. Bronzong can be uh, <laughs> can be a little bit more optimized. I'm not just going to run Max Max. Parasite Polytoad. Everything has room to be optimized. Maybe not Kingdra. Kingdra is pretty standard, but I might swap it off for Ludicolo. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.